Hi, hi, welcome to One World Today. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue on our journey to learn just a little bit more of Chinese expression a day. And normally we work with classical Chinese expressions that's mostly made up of four characters. That's the you know, most succinct way to express a sort of complicated ideas sometimes, um, but Occasionally, uh, I will introduce contemporary Chinese expressions. Cai Hong Pi is one of them. We talked about yesterday as um, the sort of ass kissing <laughs> from the fans, mostly teenagers, I guess, um, about their idols, like even their idols, celeb celebrities mostly, um, fart, right? Uh, there's nothing to talk about. The best thing to do is to keep silent if somebody farted. Right, but in their fans' eyes, even their fart becomes a rainbow. In their eyes, it's converted from a common human behavior that's not really, you know, want to be publicized about somebody farting. But in the fans' eyes, it's a rainbow. Okay, so that's the kind of um, I trust it a flat flattering, um, but it, that's the full context of how it's used. If you are going to have Cai Hong Pi, like use Cai Hong Pi over somebody, that means you, you're really ass kissing like to the extreme. Um, okay. So since we talked about uh, this common human behavior, I thought why not just give it all to you of how Chinese is expressing this two very private, but very <laughs> common human behavior okay we have to say like how we are using how we pair what verb what action verb uh, to these two behaviors um okay i hope that can make sense to you so we start with the the same uh the behavior itself one is a sh one is p um okay sh is the solid form p is the aerial form <laughs> okay both stinky stuff coming from human bodies. Um, and this is the human body. This symbol is human body. And in it is the sound slash meaning maker. Yesterday we talked about P. Uh, okay, the inside is B. So it's a sound maker. It sounds kind of like a B, right? Uh, when it paired with this dead body symbol, shi and B and shi pair together, that become P. The sound changed but kind of influenced by the B. So B is comparing two knives side by side. When we are purchasing knives, we want to pick the sharper edge one night. So that's the sort of comparing. And because it's a reoccurrence of two next to each other, it means multiple, multiple of that. Uh, farting is a, <laughs> sometimes it comes in multiples, not just one sound bit, right? It's multiple sound bits. Um, so that's kind of <laughs> descri describing that human behavior. And shi, on the other hand, is the solid form, right? And this is the ancient character that did depicting this very private business. Um, and you can see <laughs> the dropping. Uh, but actually, these things are not, uh, I mean, even if it looks like dropping <laughs> poops, uh, from one person uh, and forms a pattern in the air sense. Um, I mean, nobody drops poops that fast, right, in the first place. But this character actually, you see four of them putting together, it means rice or grains. So it's something because you eat something, right? You digest it, that. And then it's the other end after digestion, the you know, the exhaust, uh, so to speak, coming out of your body. So that's what it is. In the Chinese form, this is mi. So I guess it's a sound slash meaning maker as well. Mi is the, the material that compo composition, make component of the shi. Okay, so now we get those out of the way. Shi, pi, right? And what verbs to go with it? Okay, so when you are pooping, imagine, what do you do? You kind of push, right? <laughs> um, you have to push it out. And, but in Chinese, we use la, la is actually pool. 
<laughs> so um, okay, it came from this character, and we see the left side is this five finger, five finger hand symbol. So it's this simplified. So this is still you can see the five fingers on there. That's a simplification of this. And on the right side, it's a Li. Li is a human body and. In one of the episodes, I kind of discovered, okay, so this is human figure, classical human figure. But when you see the two legs and two arms and a head, like standing over there, uh, it means it's not just a generic human figure. It's somebody able-bodied. You see both legs and kind of towering over, right? So this kind of a muscle, so this is a labor muscle guy and eventually i, I um, see in some other characters if we have this person character involved that even means like slavery so that's an ancient times management of um, human labor i guess one way to manage that um, by slavery Ooh. but okay so in essence this is a like a muscle this is a muscular um, human body form so you use this not only as a human attribute is the main thing, but this is mus muscular. The, the muscle work from this figure come from this character. So depict it that way. But over here, it has a ground underneath. So this is a muscle person on the ground. That, that, that's leap, that's standing. So this is standing form. So together, both the arm, which is the main labor, I mean, if you want to impact and change something, you have to use your hand, right? Back then, um, so this hand with this muscular standing person together means they are going to have some manual, heavy, heavy manual, heavy lifting, so to speak, kind of manual work. And originally, I, I mean, that's how it, it's formed, but in contemporary form, uh, sense, this la means pu. We have tweet and la uh, in our door, push and pull. Um, so that's our twin and la, la is kind of this action. Um, but in pairing with poop, it actually means push it, not pulling backwards. Right? You have to exit, <laughs> let, let the poop go out. So that's a kind of push. Um, but instead of Tui shi, tui is pushing. We use la shi, um, but we can see from the original form of this la, it simply means by force, like a lot of labor and muscle. Right? This means you have to force it. Okay, P. <laughs> How we say release your fart, right? Fang P. Fang is looking like this. Um, okay, the right side here is another three finger hand symbol. So we see both this hand symbol and this hand symbol. I'm sure they there are distinctions, different expressions, but variations. Um, there may be some distinction there, but it's lost to us when people create why they have two different way of depicting three finger instead of using five finger, right? Uh, and over here is a type of tool um, that people use to fortune tell. And the left side means something goes parallel and then eventually merge. So pointing toward like merge. Uh, imagine the merge of car lanes, right? The two car, and then you have to pair like that. Um, so that depicts that motion of merging uh, boats, actually. So. Okay, so this is the sound maker. It sounds like a fang. I mean, sounds like a fang. Now together here, it becomes a fang. And then the right with the hand and um, the fortune telling tool together, that means something related to hand, hand work. And you have this sound. And that together means, um, to let somebody go far away. Um, in Chinese ancient times, prisoning is one form of punishment, but another form of punishment is to um, 
force somebody to leave their hometown and go far away. That's a huge punishment as well, because in Chinese belief, um, the younger generation are not supposed to go too far away from their parents in case anything happened to them. They can come to help to support right away. So that's the, the expectation. But if you, you, you commit some crime and the punishment would be remove you from your hometown to far away place. So that's originally used in that setting of, so I guess here it's, it's almost like a hand holding a key, right? So imagine a prison, um, prison watcher, a guard of there, somebody holding a key. Um, so it's like a watched somebody going. So imagine the uh, people who may commit the crime and then multiple of them, they have to form a file to go far away. So that's my interpretation of how this was used as um, another form of punishment in ancient times to release people from far away. So it's, it becomes release, is uh, removing um, people from their hometowns. So, okay, we don't need to all that know all that sad story, but contemporarily we just use fun, be paired up together to mean, okay, release it to far away place from your body. P originally lives in the hometown of your body, right? And then you release them uh, out, out there in the space. Okay, so La Shi Fang Pi is common practice and that's how we use them together. And okay, I grayed out La Shi because La Shi by itself just, there's just pooping, there's nothing special in there, but I want to focal, focus on Fang Pi because this practice of Fang Pi air going out, um, sometimes is used to um, in bullshitting in English corresponding expression. That means you're giving out hot air without a foundation. You're claiming something that's not true. Uh, you're just bullshitting people. So that's uh, Fang Pi often used. So if you in Chinese, well, pro probably don't, I'm not trying to encourage you to use this expression that if you want to say bullshitting in Chinese, you can simply say fang pi and they, whatever the Chinese will be impressed that you would know that. Um, okay, so nothing related. So just to, uh, I mean, the picture just no relation. Uh, I couldn't visualize lash or fang pi for you. So I just put some nice, Sushis over there, right? Cash into the courtesy of thinking. But one word a day, see you another day.